Okay, everybody. So as promised, this is going to be your full term marketing project. Please write that down. Full term marketing project. Let me walk you through how this is going to work. All right, you ready? I'm going to read it. It's right here. I'm reading it. And I'm also going to post this in your assignments as soon as this is done. So the announcement will be this, Neil, on video, and then you're going to get this in your assignments. So please pay attention. You ready? Focus. Focus on me. All right, here we go. Marketing 1301 Principles of Marketing. Full-term marketing project. Full-term marketing project. Here we go. You're going to be responsible for, number one, you're going to be developing a full-scale marketing plan for a local company of your choice okay you get to choose who you're going to do uh but i'm going to ask you to look at all the points i'm going to list below i'm going to give you some criteria i do recommend a small b2c company a business to consumer a small restaurant a small shop something like that. That's what I'm going to recommend that you do. You pick a small, intimate organization, okay? Don't pick a big B2B. Don't pick Apple or any of those great big giant companies because you're going to be buried in research. So I just want you to pick a small company somewhere local. Number two, you're going to detail and include elements from all of our classes together. Hence, I keep telling you every single week, I'm going to be saying, hey, this piece would be really good in your full-term marketing project. Hey, you should include this. So every week I'm going to include stuff, okay? Um, so you're going to have reference ideas, maybe from the guest speakers. You've had three of them so far. Hence why I'm doing the guest speakers is so you guys get used to kind of some of the things these speakers want to share. And then even from the chapters in the textbook. So every week you guys know that the chapters in the textbook are really giving you a lot of really great ideas. You want to consider using these in your full-term project. So number three. Number three, you're going to be developing a new product or a service idea to meet the target's needs. So the target consumer of the company that you pick, you're going to be creating a new product idea. So here's what you're going to do. Um, here's what I'm going to want you to probably do. You're going to want to obtain written consent and agreement from the business owner. You should. Do you have to? Not necessarily, but think you're an agriculture student. You're doing a kind of marketing plan for this organization. They should probably be aware of it, especially if you're taking photos, you're going to take some videos. Oh, video is going to be a big part of this, but you should get written written consent. OK, now don't worry about it being formal. You don't have to send it to me. I'm just trying to protect your butt just so the owner kind of knows what you're doing. OK, uh, and they also see the value in the project. And maybe there might even be a role for you in that company afterwards. Uh, the next part. You are not to use the same company you chose for the environmental scan or the SWOT analysis unless agreed by me. So you guys just finished the scans and the SWOT analyses. You're not going to use them unless you hear from me. Like you got to have, you can't use the same company. And, and if you do want to, you, you got to let me know. Okay. Uh, the next part, uh, you may work independently or you may form teams of two or even three people. So naturally you guys are working together in this class. If you think there's other students that might actually contribute to this and you want to form a small team, no more than three people, uh, you need to let me know that you're going to do that. Now, naturally, if you're going to form a team, you would suspect my expectations of that project of its quality and its uniqueness is going to be really, really high. So you're allowed to do it individually, but you're more than welcome to do it with other people. I told you I treat you like a business. Okay, so here's what you're going to present. Number one. Uh, a brief description of the company, including history, background, photos, website references, digital media platforms, ownership, management analysis. You, you want to do kind of like an environmental scan and a SWOT on the business, okay? Which is number two, an environmental scan, including SWOT analysis and full market research. Please consider the full competitive analysis as well, like do a competitive analysis, okay? Number three, a detailed listing of the company's specific products and ser or services, as well as a detailed market description. Page one. That's it. All right. Number three. Number four. There's a bunch of these. Number four. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
a detailed explanation of all the consumer behavior decision process mm -hmm. as it applies to the products the company provides. Hmm. You should go through each step in the process in detail and suggest which steps are most important to the company to influence potential consumers. We just finished consumer behavior. You're doing your fast food assignments right now. You're going through each of the steps of the buying process as it relates to consumer behavior. Ha, ah, perfect. See how that works? It's awesome. Number five, a detailed description of the target market and motivations. This should include geographic, demographic, psychographic, and behavioral descriptions, right? So the target markets, that's number five. We're going to cover that next week. Number six, a detailed understanding of the buyer behavior exhibited by typical members of the target market. This should include decision processes, shopping behaviors, purchase criteria, decision influencers, and media use, right? the buyer behavior you're going to be doing that that'll be like two weeks from now see how this is working <laughs> you got the whole term to do it but every week that i present new pieces to you you're going to actually be going back on hey what neil just covered i'm going to put into my full term project cool all right number seven propo proposal of a new product idea related to the company what it currently does that would be attractive to the target market pricing recommendations branding ideas are to be included we're going to do a session on branding and pricing. So naturally, that's important. Number eight, in addition, you should include details regarding how you would promote and distribute the new product you have developed. Promotion should make sense given the target market and how you can best reach them. You should detail where you expect to sell the new product through company distribution channel methods and new approaches and what makes sense for both the company and the target market. So we're going to be doing logistics. We're going to be doing distribution that's later in the term number nine of course you're going to be detailing the four p's of your marketing mix guys four p's product price placement promotion got it i say it every week you know what are the four p's you're going to want to include that in your plan and number 10 and finally all the materials should fit together to form your full marketing plan fun love it okay here's the grading here's how it's going to work I'm going to be looking for um, the introduction, company brief, history analysis. That's worth five parts, five parts of the grade. Uh, number two, a detailed environmental scan, target market, consumer behavior analysis for another five. A new product idea for the target market pricing strategy, the third five. And then the final five, quality of presentation, creativity, design, video, and media usage. I want these things to be cool looking. It's a marketing plan. This is a marketing class. Uh, and then, of course, this whole marketing, this whole full term marketing project is worth 20% of your overall grade. Sweet, cool, be creative. Now, here's the last page. Here's what I'm going to ask for. You are going to submit a well organized PowerPoint deck and video media is highly recommended. All right. So, a good PowerPoint deck multimedia i want to see photos i want to see video highly recommended you're going to find very quickly in this term i'm not a fan of microsoft word with times new roman oh uh, it's boring it's awful i want you guys to be creative i want it to look cool i want you guys to do your design you know how to do that now you are going to have the rest of this term to complete this project sweet the whole rest of this term but it is suggested you take this on in pieces throughout the term, and I've mentioned to this to you. I will refer weekly how do you how the material being covered should be included in your project. I'm going to do it every week. Um, please ensure, of course, your full name, student numbers are included. All material must be original and created by yourself, unless referenced. Any form of plagiarism results in a big fat a zero. You're going to email everything to me at neil at thorntongroup.ca. Do not use a shared folder. I don't recommend it. Oftentimes, I have to ask for permission, like Google shared stuff. I have to ask for permission. So make sure you give me permission if you're going to use a shared folder. But it's often hard for me to actually download stuff. But you can do it. We'll work through the term. Let me go back to the point about doing something every week. You do not want to procrastinate on this project. Trust me. You want to start attacking it now, even though you don't have all the information to cover all the points that I set off, you already know 
SWOT analysis, environmental scan, you, you're getting into consumer behavior. All I really want you to do over the next number of weeks is pick the company. Start going there, talk to the owner, get to know the business, get to know their products and services. It will really, really help you. Okay, guys? So I want you to get started on it right away. So I'm gonna take this video, I'm gonna drop it in announcements right now. I'm just gonna convert it, drop in announcements. I'm gonna take the full term project, drop it into your assignments. You're gonna have it. Of course, next week, one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm going to start off with who has seen this video and who's already started on their projects. Good? All right, so get out there, kick some butt, and thanks for listening. Goodbye.